Hi, this is Judy from Aboka. I just wanted to show you today how to do the brick stitch. Um, I'm starting here with a row of nine bugle beads that I've put together with, from the la with a ladder stitch. That's a different demonstration. And we're gonna build uh, some brick stitch beads on top of these ladder beads. So I'm working with fire line, uh, size 12 needle, size 11 seed beads on top of our bugles. So I wanna start by pointing out something before I even get into the beads. This is a little tricky to see. I'm very intentionally trying to use some contrasting colors here, still maybe hard to see. There are, there's, and the, when we've done this ladder stitch, we've created these stitches going in and out, in and out of the bugle beads. If you look on top, you'll see a stitch that goes from one bugle to the next. Um, that's what's linking them together. Now with these, I'm trying to get a closer look up here. So what you can see is these, these um, bridges that go from one, the threads that go from one to the next bugle, they're what's called the bridge, okay? And so that's what we're gonna be using to, to build the brick stitch on top of these bugles. So we start by putting on two of the seed beads. So we thread two seed beads on, and the beginning of the row is different than the rest of the row. And the first, and every time you begin, you don't capture the first bridge, you go to the second. Because, and think about, we've just put two beads on, so we're going to the second bridge, okay? So we go through two of the bugles to get underneath that bridge. And so we then pull our needle through, and our two seed beads will plop on top, not very neat at this point, but we're gonna fix that. And we fix that starting by, we take our needle now and go up the second bead. And then down our first bead. This is securing them onto the hair. Now you can see they still are kind of kissing each other and they're not flat on top. So we need to do one more thing here and we go back through that second bead. We don't have to go through a bridge this time. They're already secured onto our bugles, but we go back through that second bead going up and pull snug and check that out. They're now nice and flat on top of those bugles. So now we add another bead. So now we're going to just one bead at a time and one bridge at a time. So we add one bead, pull it all the way down, and then we go through the next bridge, which is the third bridge. We go under that bridge, and then we go up through that third bead. Now we take another, our fourth bead, and we go under that fourth bridge. And then up through that fourth bead. So we have nine bugles. We're gonna end up doing eight of the seed beads. So I'm getting, getting my fifth bead, going under my fifth bridge. What's kind of cool about the brick stitch is it naturally decreases. That's the nature of the stitch. So then we're gonna go up through that fifth bead. We're gonna grab our sixth bead, go through that sixth bridge, and go up that sixth bead. So we're seeing we're getting a nice stack of row of beads on top of those bugles. Let's go for our eighth bead, go through our eighth bridge. So you can logically th think about the fact we have eight, nine bugles, so there's gonna be eight bridges. So we're gonna, only gonna be using eight beads. So now we're going up through that seventh bead 
and then we grab our last bead for this row, our eighth bead, and go through that last bridge. and up through that last beat. So this whole time we've kept our tail at the end to the left of our work and we're working thread to the white right. And I just managed to get this through here, which I'm going to Fix. That's what's nice about taking a moment and making sure everything looks where it's supposed to be. So I'm getting that thread through so I have my tail properly on the left and this properly. So we've done our first row. So now I like to always work from left to right. So I'm going to flip this over. So now I want to show you the start of the next row. I now have my tail on the still on the bottom but to the right and my working thread with my needle also on the right just like in this last row i'm going to start and you always start uh, the next row working the brick stitch with two beads so i'm going to pull those two beads on and you can see this a little more clearly on the orange where we have these bridges between each of the beads so we're going to go through not the first bridge, but the second bridge. And that will pop those two beads onto the top, but, not, but they're kind of kissing each other. They're still not exactly how we want them to look. So we go up through the second bead, just like we did in the last row, down through the first bead. And then again, they're still not quite flat, but it's this last stitch going up through the second bead and pull and snug is what's going to flatten them right out. Now do know I'm very consciously using some contrasting thread and contrasting colors because I'm hoping it'll be a little easier to see on the video. I normally would be doing this with colors that blend better together so you don't see the thread as obviously. So next thing I do is take my third bead, go through my third bridge, pull tight, and go up my third bead. And I reach for my fourth bead, go through my fourth bridge. Now, because we only had eight beads on the last um, row, we have, we're gonna have seven beads on this row. So we've just gone, oops, that went flying. Went through that, so we've got our the um, four beads, and then we can keep going. Our fifth bead, going through our fifth bridge, up and through, our fifth bead, then reach for our sixth speed. Pull it, go up through the six speed, pull it up, and then reach for our last speed. So this row will have seven beads because we have seven bridges. Go through that last one. Pull it up and I'm going to just flip it over to get that left tail back on the left hand side because again my next row I want to work from my right to my left. So you can see we've got two really nice neat rows on top of our bugles and they're starting to decrease. We went from nine bugles to eight to eight beads now seven beads. Now our next row we do six. So you're going to repeat the same steps by putting on two beads, skipping over two to the second bridge, go up the second, down the first, back up the second, and then continue on. And then you continue this brick stitch until you've got a natural, naturally go down to two beads on the top of the top of your earring. I hope you found this useful. Thanks so much.